Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool, and in this video we're going to have a look at some tips and tricks to speed up cleanup in Blender. So cleanup in Blender is something that's never, well let's say, a pleasant task, it's just something that needs to be done. And over the weekend I was working on this project to create a load of Roman numerals of a range of different styles from 1 to 20. If you know any of the lore for the game Horus Heresy, you probably understand why that range was 1 to 20. And in the end I got four different styles, all of which will be available on the channel Patreon. But the vast majority of this project was actually cleanup. I'd basically got a 1, a 5 and a 10 that I created from an SVG file and then started combining them together into these different styles. So obviously a 1 and a 5 to make a 4 or a 6 and so on. Now if you want to see a video on how to bring SVG files into Blender or how to just turn an image into an SVG file there's a link in the description. But as you can probably tell combining these things together a lot of this was just basically clean up. And while I managed to crack this out in an afternoon to do all four different styles if it hadn't been for some tips and tricks I think this would have taken me hours longer. So I thought I'd share them as this is obviously something that people generally don't really enjoy. So for one of these styles what I was doing is changing this more simplified format into having solid blocks at the top of the bottom and I'm also going to space these out and then do an inset version. Now for this what I want these smooth changes to transition between each of the different numbers. So this is vastly easier to just let's say take the five that I've done for this duplicate this, bring this over here, and then put this over the top of it. And Blender makes this quite easy with snap base. I can press G, B, and then grab, there's a vertex there, copy it to that vertex over there, and then click that, Control and J, and then I've got these joined together. But if I go into edit mode, you can see this is pretty messy. We're gonna need to clean this up quite a lot. Now, some of this is very basic. For example, this edge here needs to be refined to the other edge, so I'm just gonna Control and E, and then subdivide it, and then I can just bring this vertex to this one here, and normally that would be by pressing M, merge it last, and then I can just go into edit mode and delete out that edge. But this can start getting really time consuming. If I'm gonna do that for every single one of these vertices, like these need to be merged together, and every single time I'm pressing M, then selecting the option, it's gonna start taking a while. Luckily, this is where things like add-ons come in. Now, some people are really against add-ons. They seem to think that this is something that we need to avoid, especially when you're learning Blender, because it's going to stop you learning some of the basics. But if those basics are as simple as pressing M and then at last, that's not really a basic, that's just learning a process. And if there's a faster process you can go through, then there's no reason not to learn that, I would argue. I would say one of the greatest mistakes I made when learning Blender was trying to not use add-ons for as long as possible. And in the long run, that was just a mistake because it speeds up your processes. Yes, you still need to learn the basics, but there's no reason not to learn how to use the add-ons as long as you understand those basics as you go. And for cleanup, there's not that much to it other than the fact that you've got to merge things together. I have got other videos of cleanup and how you're gonna do them, but I just wanted to share one that's specifically on these tips. Because let's be honest, if instead of having to press M and then at center, you're gonna speed up your life a lot. For example, if there's just a key press I can use to do that, it's gonna be way quicker. Now I'm not saying moving your hand across your keypad is gonna suddenly cause you some unnecessary strain or you're gonna collapse because of it. It's just a time-saving exercise. And before someone says something in the comment section, yes, I appreciate I've got tiny hands. So let's have a look at this. So, a lot of these shortcuts are actually coming in machine tools, which is a free add-on, which makes this even better. So with machine tools, if I just, let's say, click and select any number of vertices, the last one I select, if I just press one, it will merge at last, similar to the M and then additional click, but much quicker. And nicely, that's just where your hands are anyway. And then I can just G and Y that down. It also has a similar function if I come over to this, which needs to be done. Whereas if I'm just holding shift and one, it will merge at center. So you've got merge at last and merge at center really, really quickly available to you. And if you change your mind in the box in the bottom left hand corner, you can always just change which one you're doing as well. But as you can see, this really speeds things up. And then you've got things like Alt A to align to the last one, which means that you're just gonna get everything really nicely set up in terms of your positioning. Now, I'm not speeding this up in any way, but you can see how much faster this is gonna make everything that I need to do, just in terms of not having to click M and then select the option that I need. It's just gonna make everything way, way quicker to get completed. And in a project where you're doing this a lot, 
this is just an absolute godsend because it's just going to save you hours and hours and hours and that's just on one project now this is something that always gets mentioned by people there's always this oh i'm not sure i should be using add-ons or oh but the cost of add-ons don't get me wrong i do see where you're coming from yes there is a cost involved in having some add-ons machine tools is free but there are other ones that you have to pay for but if it's going to save you as many hours as this i would say that it is worth it but that's just a personal opinion you need to judge this for yourself but as i said this one is free i've also just noticed there's a problem here just a bit of a tip this is not going to work very nicely. So what I need to do is actually join these together. Now, another thing that people often do is they'll go into edge mode and then say, okay, I need to then delete out this edge and that deletes everything inside. So I'm now gonna start having to select everything inside. What you can actually do is instead of doing that is if you go into face mode and select those two faces and press F, it will actually fix most of that for you probably nine out of 10 times. One other tip, is now I'm probably gonna have the same thing to solve on this one as well. Now again, this is only gonna save you maybe a second, but it's a second that's worth saving. So say for example, I want to go onto this one, I'm gonna tab into object mode, click here, tab into edit mode, and yes, this is a problem. But what if there was a quick way of doing that? If I'm in edit mode here, let's go into vertex mode, what you can also do is just hold your mouse over the one you want to move to and press Alt and Q. And again, your fingers are just by Alt and Q. So it's a really quick way of swapping between the different objects. And whatever mode you're in, for example, edge mode, it will swap to that mode. So it's a really nice tip to speed things up, just in terms of your editing. The other thing you want to be aware of is other shortcuts. So let me just finish this off and we'll get to one. But you can see how quick that was to get everything edited. So what I'm gonna do is Shift and D, and then let's bring that down here. And I want to make a version where the top is a thicker bar basically so I can inset this. And yes, I could click through, but actually if I just hold control and click, that selects everything in that path. And learning these shorthands is really, really useful. So let's just S and Y that so that these are wider. Let's go to somewhere like there. And then if I go into face mode and A and then I, I want to inset each of these. Now this is a common cleanup problem as well. I have mentioned this before, and it's not the worst to do something about. I can control click to there, and then let's go with one to merge at last, or I could have actually shift on one to merge at center, but I think the at last is better. So you can see how quick this is to do. Now, for a paid add-on, I would say here, this is gonna be a pain, so using mesh machine, where you just click, control click, so you've got the two, then Y and then unfck, and then you can do this really nicely. So it's either rounded like that, or you can just press M so it perfectly merges at the most relevant point. This isn't an at last. What it does is it looks at where these lines are crossing or intersecting, and then just puts it exactly in the right place. So again, if you think how many times I've just had to do this over the course of this project, doing this 20 times on each four of the corners, saving the time doing that just really, really adds up very quickly. So then at this point, I can go into face mode and select the faces that I want to, not that one, and then E and extrude those down. So we've got our interesting looking options in terms of our Roman numerals. Now there is one more trick that I want to mention in terms of cleanup, and this is a bit more of a specific problem, but is useful for some. And that is that sometimes we get objects like this. This was sent to me by a patron, and they were having the issue that they want to bring this into, I think it was Moi, I'm not sure. But in whatever program it was, everything needs to be either quads, so you can see that everything was set up as quads as far as possible, or triangles. Don't quote me on that, I don't use Moi, I'm just trying to help with the problem. But we've got these faces here where this is an engon and Moi doesn't like engons. And there, and there, and there. So we wanted a way of turning these into triangles. Now this is something that could be done manually quite easily, but it's just gonna be a lot of let's J. Again, my fingers having to go most of the way across the keyboard. And with machine tools, you can actually just click two. So again, much more convenient positioning. But there is another option as well with this. And the reason we want to do this manually do note there is a triangulate modifier in the modifier menu just here but the person didn't want to triangulate all these nicely formed quads only the problem areas the other thing that we can do which is a really nice trick is if i select all of these edges and then select the last one as the one that i want to join to 
you can also hit two and it will join all of them to that final point, which really, really speeds up this triangulation process. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying triangles are always perfect and they're the right answer. They're not, you want to use a range of different things, but it does mean that you're going to save yourself a lot of time and it just depends on what project you're doing. But it's quite nice that you can do this quickly while still maintaining your quads in other areas. So that's another quick tip for you. As always, I hope that was useful. Not the most exciting of topics, but one that I hope will save you a lot of time over the course of a number of projects. As I say, over the course of that Roman numeral project, that probably saved me at least an hour just by speeding up everything that I needed to do. If you could like the video, it'd be really appreciated. It helps the channel grow, and more importantly, other people will find the video more easily, and hopefully it will help speed up their projects. And if you'd be willing to share any tips that you particularly find save yourself a lot of time in Blender, please do in the comments section. It's great to hear things from the community, and I know it helps everyone out. Have a great day, guys.